Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Mouse. Today we've got a 525 Lineman Slug. This was generously donated to us by a viewer named Clyde. Alright, just shot a ballistics gel block with a Lineman 525 Slug. We have complete penetration to the block. Well, Tau Flavor Mouse, see what this does in slow motion. In this video, we've modified these Lyman slugs by drilling a hole through them. What kind of effect this will have on the flight is anybody's guess. But this is truly the hollowest of hollow points. Now, I made four of these, and a couple of them I didn't center the hole very well because I wanted to see how an off-balance slug will fly through the air. Now, we'll be shooting at a range of 50 yards at a 6-inch paper plate, that orange plate that's on the target there. And I want to thank Brett. He's just a guy I found at the range and said, hey, you want to be in a video? And it's like, sure. So he's never shot this gun before, so let's see how he does. We'll be shooting the plain, unmodified lineman slug first. For a guy that never shot the gun before, he did pretty well. So that's our baseline. We know these slugs fly wonderfully through the air. They have great aerodynamics. Look how stable that thing is. So let's take a few shots with the modified slugs, see how those do. Now on this shot, you can really see how wobbly the slug is flying through the air but still pretty accurate for something that's been crudely modified. And he was only just a couple inches away from hitting the plate. Pretty good for 50 yards. The hole is about six millimeters in diameter and you can actually see the hole in a lot of these shots. Now this one went a little bit wild. This was one of the slugs that wasn't centered very well when I drilled it. And we can really see the problems the slug is having even with the spin stabilization from the rifle choke tube just staying straight through the air. It's wobbling like crazy. Now Brett did a lot better on this shot, just hitting the edge of the plate. Now what's interesting about this shot is you'll see the nitro card stuck to the back of the slug and then bam, it's finally released. So that's telling me we probably don't have an airflow going through the center of the slug at all. The shock wave is pushing the, the air around the slug. So that's definitely something important that, that we learned from this study. And no test is complete without a ballistic gel test. I want to thank William from the Wound Channel for sending me this block of gel and donating it to us. It's been awesome to be able to shoot it. We, we took the block and molded it into six gummy bears. You'll notice that a lot of these shots, the slugs are favoring the left side for some reason. That was our last slug, so luckily Brett was able to hit it. The slug managed to go through all six of the gummy bears, which were all spaced out, hit the wood, and the slug landed on the table. Okay, let's see what kind of damage these did to this clear ballistic gel. That's not very clear anymore. Bear number one, you can see the hole through that thick arm. Left a kind of a big hole through it, too. That's not normal. Bear two, similar damage. Bear number three, still going through that arm. Bear four, the slug started to drop a little bit, but still going through the gummy bears. Often when you shoot to the side of a block of 
ballistic gel, there's a good chance it can actually squirt out the side and not pass all the way through. But we got lucky here, and this slug went through all six gummy bears. Here's a slug that was just sitting on the top of the table after we shot it. Went through, hit the wood, and here's a close-up of it. I want to announce that my videos are now on full30.com. If you haven't checked out that website, please check it out and discover a lot of cool new channels. I'm currently working with a company that is going to be designing some t-shirts, mugs, uh, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, and stuff like that that will be branded with the Tal Flader Mouse logo. And I need your opinion on, on what you would like to see. So on the, in the description, I have a link to a little survey that they sent me that you can actually go to and kind of vote on and voice your opinion on what you'd like to see. So please check that out. It'd be a big help. Thank you for watching.